Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we have an important topic to discuss and we will be sharing a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a report on Expense 5 in 2023. So if you're ready to streamline your expense reporting, let's just dive right into the video and make sure to stick by and let's just simply get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. As an example here, let me just go and open the Brave browser and of course in your case as we said you can simply open whatever browser you preferred or you have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and type expensify.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Expensify. And of course, if you have an account, make sure to scroll down and you'll find the login option at the bottom option so you can log in into your account. If you don't have an account, you can simply from there click on create a new account and you'll be able to create your account. And of course, you'll even have on the left panel an option to create your account or even log in into your account with a Google account, with an Apple account and two other options that you can't remember at the moment. And of course, those options will help you uh, log in into your account or create your account with ease so you don't have to, uh, to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. Once you logged in into your account or you've just created your account, you'll find yourself on this inbox or kind of the dashboard of Expensify. And of course, you'll find here the inbox, expenses, reports, settings, and supports. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, is would like to show you how to create a report on Expensify. Of course, to begin creating a report on Expensify, we will have to go and navigate to the report section. So uh, simply go to this left panel and click on reports here. And of course, once you do so, you'll find this option or this reports uh, page right here. So if you want to create a new report, you can simply go and click on new report directly from here, or you can click on this drop down menu. And as you can see, you'll be able to create three types of reports, expense reports, invoice or bulk imports invoice so simply for us we'll just create an expense report for you if you click on new report that's what creates an expense report so just keep that in mind of course you can even export your uh, reports as an example uh, if you want and even copy them or even delete them as an example so for me i'm just going to click here on a new report or create a new report and of course uh as you can see, the next step here is waiting for you to add expenses to this report. So simply, you'll be able to add your expenses example or select any expenses that you had for the report. As you can see, for me, I don't have any uh, current expenses. But of course, for you, you you will simply have to add your expenses there. And then, and the report creation, of course, you'll need to select the expenses that you want to include in the report. Expensively, of course, allow you to choose individual expenses if you want to or apply filters to include like exp expenses if you have a lot. Of course, based on criteria such as dates, range, categories or tags or specific projects. And of course, you can customize once you add the, the expenses, you can customize the report settings. So expensive provides uh, a various customization option to tailor your report or to your specific needs and of course you can modify the report title and select the currency and set the preferred date format additionally you can add additional details or comments to the reports for any further clarity or context and of course you can even add some report details and attachments if you want you can simply click here and you'll be able to add or to write something here or add any attachments that you want and uh, so if you want to enhance your report as an example so of course you can enter any necessary information such as the purpose of the report as an example or any additional notes and of course you can simply review and submit your report before submitting make sure to review everything and everything if everything is good you can simply simply submit it and of course make sure to track the report status and take action so after submitting the report, you can track its status within Expensify and of course the reports my and the Rego review or undergo review or approval process, of course, depending on your organization's workflow. So monitor the report's pro progress, respond to any queries or requests for additional information and take any necessary actions to ensure a smooth and timely approval process. And of course, as an example, if you uh, you finish with the report, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff in this 
expense value. Of course, if you go to inbox as an example, here you'll be able to even watch a demo if you don't know how to use Expensify good. You'll be able to answer here some uh, questions but that will help you set up your accounts and improve the usage or of Expensify. Of course, you can even take some time to familiarize yourself with uh, Expensify if you want. Go and check all the options on it. Um, as an example, reports, expenses, settings, uh, or policies, or even accounts. You can even contact the support if you have any issues. So as an example here, if you click on expenses, you'll be able to create a new expenses. As you can see, you'll be able to create manual one. You can even go and use this feature to scan your receipt if you want. And of course, this feature will help you fill the expense uh, automatically. So every details in uh, in the receipt will be uh, simply or automatically uh, typed in the expenses without you uh, manually creating it. And of course, you can even create uh, multiple expenses if you want. You can uh, create a time expense. You can uh, distance expenses. For example, you have here manual creating distance or even create from map. Of course, and you'll be able to do reports as we said in the beginning of, of uh, this. So as you can see, we said that we can uh, uh, go and create some expenses and even the reports. As an example, you can simply click on new reports here and you'll be able to add expenses to it and other details, attachments if you want. And of course, if you go here to settings, you'll be able to edit anything in your settings, for example, an account or even in this policy section. So here, if you have any rules that you can add into your Expensify uh, account, so you can add it or any policies that you, you can add, of course, for individual or even for groups. So uh, people can go and follow those rules or policies. And of course, you even have this support option. And as you can see, looking for help, we have many ways to support you. Choose one of the options below. You can message them, as you can see, for 24 seven real time support to answer most questions. Or you can simply use the collection of reboot self service help guide and best practices if you want. So select whatever suits so example, this one or even uh, let's just try this one. So both of them, as you can see, you'll be able to go and talk uh, to them. And of course, they will simply help you a lot because their supports are so nice. And of course, you will not find any issue with them. And of course, you can even start your subscription as, as an example, uh, as you can see here. So you can get your uh, limited uh, smart scans. And of course, the smart scans is uh, when you scan the recipe, the receipts from here. So it can automatically fill all your expenses and you don't have to fill them manually. Of course, you can, if you click on uh, create a like expense, as you can see, all those uh, things could be filled automatically if you scan the recipient. So maybe you'll have to add something as an example, maybe, I don't know, some description for your own if you want, or you can give it a category. If you want to uh, have everything customized and organized as you want, and of course you can save everything and you will be normally good to go. And of course, if you reach this point of this video, congratulations. There you have it, our step-by-step -step guide on how to create a report on Expensify in 2023. Of course, by following these steps, you can streamline your expense reporting and ensure accurate and timely submissions. Of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. And happy expense reporting with Expensify. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.